ladies and gentlemen, Governor Mike Huckabee. Coming up, most people her age have retired more than 30 years ago, yet she keeps going and going. And in spite of the housing bust, her real estate business is booming. What is it that Abby Halliday, Abby Halliday knows and does that you need to know and do? Well, we're going to find out when we come back and meet her. Abby Halliday, next here on Huckabee. My next guest has been in the real estate business for a long time. In fact, more than 65 years. And while most of the nation saw a decline in housing sales and prices in 2009, her company ranked the top independent real estate company in Texas and 10th in the country just celebrated its best year ever. So what's the secret to her longevity and success? Please welcome the first lady of real estate in the Lone Star State, Ebby Halliday. Ebby, what a delight. Thank you. Thank you so much. You inspire me and the rest of America with your remarkable story. The obvious question, you're just a few weeks away from being 99. What is the secret of longevity? Governor, my secret is that I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't retire, and I wanted to live long enough to be on the Huckabee Show. <laughs> well, you've made it. <laughs> and there are a lot of Americans who right now have decided they're not going to smoke, they're not going to drink, and they're going to try to be on my show. That's right. Why not? Your company is celebrating 65 years of remarkable success in real estate. You went into this business when women didn't run businesses. So what was the key to breaking into a man's world and then being so much better at it than others? Well, I was transferred to Dallas, Texas in 1938 by a national millinery company. So I um, changed my product from hats to houses <laughs> in 1945. So that was one of the real uh, 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 things that got me started. But you were was, a person was, you, you, I remember reading in the book, and it's a wonderful book, and we, we hope folks will enjoy it. But, Ebby, what struck me was, you had no experience in real estate, but somebody said, what's wrong with this house? How come it's not selling? He asked you to go tell him, and the next thing you know, these things are selling like crazy. You had a feel for it. Well, it, they needed a softening of the cement. Uh, the um, developer had bought the old Walnut Hill Golf Course and had built 52 cement houses that were reinforced with steel. They were well built, but they were ugly. And, <laughs> and uh, I probably did the first uh, staging of, of the uh, houses and uh, covered up some of the cement with wall covering, carpeting, and um, uh, de decorated them with, uh, with uh, cottage furniture. And um, I sold them all in nine months. Wow. And, of course, he had to buy an insurance company to finance them because the mortgage uh, on the cement houses weren't uh, too plentiful. But uh, then I sold the cornfield across uh, the road uh, to um, George Mixon Sr., who got a couple of builders in there Dave Fox and Ike Jacobs, right. who later became I Big house. Business. My yeah. wife and I, the first house we ever bought in Fort Worth, Texas, was a Fox and Jacobs home that uh, that company built back in the 1970s. Wonderful. Amazing. Well, that, that was my second inventory. And, of course, very few houses had been built during World War II. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we blossomed. And as the population of Dallas grew and the boys came home from the war, uh -huh. and uh, that was honeymoon cottages for many of them. You brought a ukulele, and my staff tells me that you have a special song that you want to do on my show. Oh, I do. I do All right, indeed. I'm going to. I have not heard it. I've heard about with, it. With apologies to real musicians <laughs> like you. Like Neil Sedaka, not me. I, nah. I just want to be one. We 
Thank you. We'll put this here. I want to thank you for coming and being on our show today. Well, thank you. And you're a delight to be with. Thank you for sharing the, the wonderful story of your life together. When you turn 99 this year, remember when you turn 100, come back. We'll do another song. We'll put you on with the Little Rockers. Well, thank you. You'd be a big um, boost I'll, to us. I'll try to learn to play that thing. <laughs> That's what they keep asking me to do every week on my guitar. That'll give Ebby you. Halliday, That'll thank give you. Guy. Coming up, you. another master of his trade who has stood the test of time. Pop icon Neil Sedaka is here. You will not want to miss this. He's got a brand new CD that I love, and you will too.